This is Perth, my home. <sighs> and the camera's out of focus already, because I am not a film. I am not a filmographer. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, 2020. What a year that's been. <laughs> uh, I remember the uh, New Year's last year. I said, Happy New Decade! Oh, it's going to be amazing! Which, of course, we would, because... Well, when we numbered it, 2020, what an amazing number, an interesting, fascinating number. Of course we'd be excited for years that have been the future, and well, I mean obviously, but the way we thought about it. And uh, well, the future wasn't exactly nice to most of us. I'm not going to show you my face, it's a bit rough right now, but uh, well, you don't need that. You got this view. <laughs> 2020 has been a bit of a dumpster fire in many ways. In ways that we all know. <laughs> the, well, from COVID to Beirut, the wildfires. Did, did you realize the impeachment was, you know, ended at the beginning of this year? That was ridiculous. It feels like that was ages ago, but it wasn't, it was this year. It's been the long and short year, because in many ways it's felt like it's taken an eternity to get to this point, and in other ways it feels like it was New Year's just a week ago. It feels weird to be recording this, I suppose. This video is unedited, which is not how I was hoping the 2021 New Year's video would be, but, uh, well, my plans got scrapped, as did most people's. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully that will be different next year. I, again, apologies for my filmography. I am not paying attention to where I'm pointing the camera, and of course my camera work is shaky. <sighs> Blame the phone. This uh, the phone's camera is not the greatest, um, but well, I suppose I may have to change that soon. <laughs> I had plans for this year. Uh, okay, I say that as if everyone else didn't have plans that got suddenly changed, but well. To be perfectly honest, my year wasn't really that different to what I'd have expected. I'm introverted, I stay inside most of the time anyway, so... The fact that I had to, well, that wasn't... ...really that disrupting. But... Lockdown was tough on a lot of people. And... So was the virus. And people died. Which is... We lost a lot of people. Every, well, not everyone, but a lot of people lost friends, family. And then there's people who died due to reasons other than the virus. Again, Beirut. Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace, King. But here we are, at the end of another 366 day period. It was, 360, it was 366 days, wasn't it? It was a leap year? <laughs> I can't remember. February was so long ago. <laughs> oh. I know I'm laughing and smiling and making jokes pretty much immediately after feeling sad about lost people, but. Well, don't we all do that? I suppose. It's been a crazy year. Funny thing about tonight is that it's also, well, not quite a full moon, but very close to one. The moon is, I don't know, about half an hour off of being right ahead, well, not right ahead, but being on the 
oh, what's the line? Well, there's a word for it. Uh, you know what I mean. It, from being right ahead, if you were on the point below, I'm going to shut up now. So we're almost having a full moon on a New Year's, which is really not that uncommon, but just, I don't know, I found it, found it a bit weird. Anyway, I'm at the spot where I was last year, because I like this spot. It's on the South Perth foreshore, and it's a really nice place to watch the fireworks. It's quiet, not many people. It's not like it's over there, near the Crown Hotel, where it's crowded. And uh, distant ways away from where the fireworks will be, which are... You can't see that there's an island there. <laughs> it's behind... They're going to be fired from behind the island, I'm pretty sure. That's where they were fired from last year. And I'm going to let you watch that when they actually start. But, well, I think we've still got a few minutes left. <laughs> Seriously though, when I get a camera, I'd better have good night vision. You'll be hearing a bit more from me in future. I'm planning on getting a camera, gorilla pod tripod, getting a Filmora 10 uh, license, and start making more videos. Don't know what, just want to start making stuff. Guess we'll see what I make when I make it. But yeah, I probably won't be this inarticulated when you see me next. Okay, so you might find that this video is edited a little bit. Though how I'm going to do that, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, fireworks should be firing from there at any moment now. We'll see. Now, I was going to talk about gulls because there are lots of gulls around. Well, I say lots, a couple dozen. And something I just realized is, they, is that they're counter shaded, which should be obvious to anyone who's really studied flying animals, but it just didn't occur to me that flying animals could be counter shaded just like. Aquatic animals. Counter shading is when the, the their top is dark and their bottom is lighter. Helps in camouflage against the sky. Now the reason I noticed this is because at night, right right now, I noticed that they are completely invisible when flying, which is not something I expected. Not that it has anything to do with New Year's. <laughs> do you know New Year's is funny? It's a completely arbitrary date. I mean, the universe is the universe. The world is still orbiting the sun. It doesn't emit a magical point on the 1st of January. It's just what we've chosen. People are shouting. Oh, it's over there. Here we go. Here it begins. It's actually two sets of fireworks, so, uh, some over there. And those are the big ones. Okay. You're not going to be able to see them well, but I'll do that then. Happy New Year, 2021. Let's hope for less shenanigans, shall we? And, uh... Expect the year to be a lot worse, because, frankly, this is what we were hoping for in 2019, and 2018, and 2017, and 2016, so, uh, yeah, no pressure. But, until then, eh, you've gone out of focus. Until then, there's always the view.
That's fancy. Apologize, my thumbs are getting tired. Next year, I have a. Oh, sorry. It's kind of sad. Some countries aren't doing fireworks this year. Ah, oh, damn it. Focus on this thing. I heard that uh, Germany is not allowed to, I mean, people in Germany aren't allowed to fire off fireworks for some reason this year. Probably because of the whole microbiology problem. You know, it just occurs to me that the island is actually hiding the lower down fireworks. I can't believe I didn't really think of that. It's probably why everyone is sitting on the east shore of the river. Because they can see the best of the show. But hey, that's really crowded. And, um... I'm not exactly a social person. It's kind of funny. Over here we have the bright and vibrant and explodey fireworks. And we have these simple fire fountains over here in the CBD. Anyway. Oh, that's an interesting shot. Moving right overhead, above the fireworks. <laughs> you don't get that over on the east shore. Boom! <laughs> Sorry. Apologize for the shaking. My arm's getting a bit sore. Well, that was a good one. I hear cheering from people on the East Shore. There's so many of them, they're so loud. Everyone here is nice and quiet. Over on the South Shore. And everyone has their phones out. <laughs> I'm the only one vlogging, so probably the most, the most disruptive person here, but whatever. Do you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you can't actually hear a word I'm saying, but... I suppose that doesn't matter. It matters of those little lights in the background that you can hardly see anyway. <laughs> Probably much more spectacular on a night vision camera. Hmm. Seems like the fire fountains over in the CBD have stopped. It's just these ones over here. Most of which you can't see, because I didn't think of that. <laughs> but hey, why would you need those lower down, <laughs> those, those lower down fireworks? You've got the moon!
this is the only point in the year where I like fireworks. Normally I'm not out to appreciate them. I'm just hoveled up in my home, my apartment, introvertedly. And they're just popping in the background and I'm trying to do something. Watch YouTube, play games. It just goes boom. But, uh, you know. New Year's. Maybe arbitrary, but celebrating the the orbit of the Earth, I can get down with that. Ow! Sorry again. Those cheers. Oh, come on. Thank you. <laughs> the birds are freaking out. Gulls know in gull language that we're able to send some exploding thingies fly sky high. The shortest flying rockets. Whoa! Ooh. Whoa! This guy is just resonating with that. But yeah, that seems to be it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. 2020, goodbye, good bloody riddance. Welcome to 2021. This is Perth, my home. I thought I'd shoot this afterward because, well, I'm gonna have to edit this anyway and might as well put this in. So you get to see my rough face. Again, the date is arbitrary just because we're saying, oh, it's 2021 doesn't mean things are going to change, really. Our problems aren't just going to go away overnight. The virus is still here. People are still suffering all across the world, not just from the virus, but from all sorts of strife. From police brutality, from racism, from homophobia, transphobia, and oppressive governments all over the world. But we can look forward and hope, and hope that next year is going to be better than last year. But that's exactly what we said in 2019, and 2018, and 2017, and 2016. So, uh, don't be expecting too much, but don't lose out on hope. Hopefully, well... We'll get some good out of this year. My arm's getting very sore, so good night. I haven't been to pieces by mozzies because I didn't bring rid. Or any kind of repellent. Because I'm stupid. So, uh, I'm going to head home and uh, wrap this up. Wish some people some happy good new years and, and some good nights. So, uh, yeah. I'll catch you in a bit. We'll see. Bye.